everybody so in today's video we are going to be distressing a couple of things what distressing means is that you're going to take something newly painted either use sandpaper or a cloth to make it look old it makes it look older shabby chic kind of um just really makes it look old even though it's brand new the advantages of that is that some of the older paints might have lead in them or toxic chemicals the paint that I use is all natural doesn't have anything nasty in it so the benefits of it is you get the old look without the toxicity and it's safe and easy and something that's great to have in your home don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you like it and hit that subscribe button thanks for watching So this little guy I painted in Skeleton Key with Deb's Design Diary DYI paint. Um, the color is Skeleton Key, I know it can be confusing. And then the top I sanded down and put a dark wax on, um, which I like the dark wax. So that's this piece. Um, it has a metal band that goes around the bottom for stability. I took that off because I didn't like it, but I might paint it. Uh, copper color and put it back on. We'll see. So one good way to get furniture cheap is to buy it in two separate pieces or broken pieces. I got this bottom piece at Goodwill for $1.50 because it didn't have a tabletop. And then I went to a salvage yard and got this tabletop for a dollar. So a really good way to get cheap furniture is to buy the separate pieces. And today I'm going to be sanding this down, giving it a distressed look because the pink is just too overpowering to be by itself. I might end up putting some stencils on it, we'll see. So this little guy I've had for a long time. I painted it several different times, several different colors. It hasn't sold. Um, so I'm going to put some stencils on it. I'm going to distress it, see if this guy will sell. Um, it's painted in um, white swan in Deb's Design Diary DYI paint and then bohemian blue stenciling. This is just spray painted with a copper color, just your regular spray paint you can get from Walmart. I think it was $3. I'm going to be turning this into a pendant light. Um, so that's kind of one of my projects for today. When thrift store shopping, I find a lot of these old quilt racks. Um, they were just really popular back in the day, and now they're not really so much. I'm going to be turning this one into a mini coffee bar. I'm putting some canisters on top. So putting canisters on top. And then just shower hooks that you can get for $1.50 at Walmart on here. And so we can hang coffee mugs and things like that. This is painted in Skeleton Key. So when finishing a project, one of the things that I do is called distressing, which is basically making a new paint job look older or worn. There are two ways to distress something. Um, I like to wet distress some things, which is I use a reusable paper towel, which I'll link um, that down below where I get those just because they're easy to wash, throw them in the washer, all that good stuff, and I don't really care about the paint. Um, so you can wet distress it with a cloth or rag. You just get a cloth or rag damp, not so that it's dripping or anything, just damp. First you're going to wipe down the edges of your project.
when you wet dress, dress something, one thing you can do to minimize the lines in the painting job, because if you paint with a paintbrush, you're going to have lines, is to go against the grain. So right now all of the paint marks are going this way. I'm just dressing this way to take out those lines. I want this one to be more heavily distressed because the pink is so bold. I want the old original wood to come through. Another way to distress things is to just use a 220 block of uh, sandpaper or sander and that gives things a more weathered look. I'm going to be sanding this piece as well, not so much to distress it, but to take out the lines and um, spots that may have paint dribbles or things like that. dress it but I decided to anyway. It just looks so cute. Alright. I will wipe this down with a very, very, very slightly damp cloth and we'll be good to go. Now we're good to go. Maybe this one, I'll just take off the paint lines. We'll see, it'll probably end up being distressed. I'm sanding kind of with the grain or the curve of the project so that it distresses a little more.
found out about it on Twitter. I guess I should pay more attention when there's tornadoes around. They see me rolling. They hate it.